All right, another tutorial, another day. Let's start with Unigen. So basically, Unigen is a game engine that was released a very long time ago, but due to it being literally overpriced for just simple people like me and you, it was almost unavailable for almost anybody. But since recently, like last year, they've made it free for the community where there's no royalties of course you have the whole if you make 100,000 in the last 12 months you gotta give it and all that but for the most part it's pretty much free so let's actually start using it so you have to press download and then sign up for it once you sign up you gotta go to your email and accept it and everything and then you submit and you're able to get a download which I have it downloaded right here Ow. So once you're finished downloading everything, you need a .NET Core 5 and Visual Studio code. So don't really touch anything and just let it download. All right, so after it's all done, we just press next, finish, and we keep it on the desktop. Anyways, allow its access. And then it just has a welcome screen. You could always do not show it, but I like it. So I'm gonna keep it start creating and now since you've already registered on their website just log in with that same thing and keep it on remember me so here's the most important thing you got to keep when when you sign in you got to keep this browser open the whole time and while you're working with it because the moment you close it you're gonna have to close your whole project. So just, uh, if, if that happens, just reopen it and nothing bad will happen. Another thing is you can't have multiple accounts of the same email and password on different computers. Since this is a floating license, you're only allowed one of them. And right now it's automatically downloading the, the engine. As you can see, it's only one gigabyte. It's very small compared to the other engines and it's very simple and easy. So we wait for it to install. And then once it's installed, we'll come back. Once you finish installing it, it will give you this activate license thing, which I said was the floating license. You're not really allowed to get the other one since you didn't buy them, but basically it's online mode, switch between PCs. You can only do it in one PC at a time. You can't really have two accounts unless you have two separate ones. No permanent internet connection required and 24 hours offline work all the simple stuff anyways once it's installed uh there's a few important things you got to remember when you go to the knowledge uh, tab you get to the online docs which sends you to the api system which is basically almost anything you need if you're a programmer i i've been here for like a few months just reading almost everything at least five times and the best things are always just using the search to be honest but if you're new to unigen your favorite or the best tab you're ever gonna have is definitely gonna be this tab so if you come from unreal engine you're gonna click this i came from the unity site so i'm just gonna click this and it basically tells you what the software naming conventions is and what the unigen naming convention is and you kind of like mix through it so like here for example we got game object being the actor in unreal engine over here it's called node so if i just click the node it's going to show over here but if i wanted like specific programming of it i'll go to the node class and here's the great part about unigen it has both C++ and C Sharp. So if you decide to, uh, let's say, code in C Sharp, just click over here and automatically you'll have the functions in C Sharp and its property nodes and everything. And I'll go over this once I start doing some more tutorials. But other than that, I let's go back to the browser. And if we go to add-ons, you'll notice that they have a few add-ons available. I would always recommend, uh, since we're gonna start a terrain beginning, I would recommend getting the scans, which will have like photogrammetry scans of a few items that we can place on our scene. 
and then if I go back there's another one that's vegetation that gives you 18 types of different trees that we can add into our world and it has LODs levels of detail so it's pretty much a nice tutorial thing that they have for beginners like us you could go ahead and get the Eastern European but I'm not gonna use it if you want to use it go ahead and if you want to go ahead and download all of them that's up to you another one would be samples which is I believe the one that I keep going into over and over again demos are basically just the demos of what the company has made the C++ samples and the C sharp component samples are pretty good I think I learned a lot from just having those two but the one that I would recommend 100% for anybody no matter whether you're a programmer or an artist is to get this art sample it's about seven gigabytes but it shows you the complete limits of what this engine can do and its physics slash its looks its shaders and everything and at the end of the day i think this one beats all of them because the other stuff i will literally teach you slowly throughout the tutorials the art ones i believe even if you don't look look at my tutorials you're definitely gonna understand it without even me like helping you at all so anyways let's actually make a project how do you make one you go to my projects press create new pretty easy call it whatever you want i'm just gonna call it check i like calling it check uh location wherever you want we only have one sdk since we only downloaded one we're in development we're not releasing this the moment you're gonna release it you press release at the moment development so templates are empty or vr right now we're just gonna make regular stuff so it's empty api plus ide please under any circumstances choose either c sharp or c plus plus but don't use unigen script unigen script was a dream that never came true Uh, throughout the years they tried making it work I really love the aspect that they did make it as much as possible but it's being deprecated with how much upgrades we had with C sharp and C++ so if you're a C sharp coder take the C sharp if you're a C++ take whichever one normally people take Visual Studio I barely know people who take C make but I heard C make is pretty good in our case I'm just gonna choose C sharp since I've been in Unity for a while, I know that one the most. So we just create a new project. Now going back to the API uh, website, it's just developer.unigen.com. There's another thing that you could check is that other than the documents, you have a forum. So this is where most of the information is. You'll see a lot of other people's like programming, uh, C++, their problems. Some of them are fixed. Some of them are still in, uh, in fixing. You have the developers once in a while just talking about what they're going to release and on. It's a pretty nice forum. You can always go back into it. That's weird. Ah, here it is. Check. All right, so Unigen has a very unique way of making it. Since I made a C sharp one, I'll show you the difference between C sharp and C later. We have the ability to open the editor and open the IDE, and we have the ability to run it from the SDK, and we also have the ability to run it from the editor itself so here in the editor we open it it gives you a little help bar i'm gonna keep it open because i like it now with the c sharp what it comes with is if you just use the scroll wheel and scroll down it comes with a full-on world with a little demo just to showcase its ability now if you're tired of scrolling up like me um you hold alt right click and just the no way 
there you go alt right click and just drag it up and down and it will zoom in and out another one would be hold right click and just move around and then hold alt and hold the middle mouse button to move it my mouse is kind of broken so i'm not going to use that now if you look around the scene and we're going to look around the scene before i go and check everything else there's already a little world made into it uh, if you want to check in this world you can just press the play button right here and we will press it right now and it will just open up a little game to show you the capabilities of unigen this laptop's burning hot so here we are you see the mouse is in here the moment we click in we're in the game we turn around and those objects that were floating in the air flew or uh, fell down and now as you move you have the abilities and it shows you basically the limits of the game as you can see the floor has a little bit of dust and dirt the glass refracts reflects there's a volumetric lighting all that good stuff and just the simple stuff you got this ball run, rolling around just touch it and it goes